I got a couple more people want to hop on. Can you hear me? I can hear you. What's going on? How you doing? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm doing very, very good tonight. Very well. Good. I can help you out. I just have a I wanted to bring up a couple of things and maybe you can shed some light. Hit me. I, I was married and if I cry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was oh, married yeah. for um thir- yeah, 29 years. Right? You human being. Yeah. I was married for 29 years and I just got divorced. And um, we have three kids, a 19-year-old, a 17-year-old, and a 15-year-old, two boys and a girl in the middle. And it's been, I watched your videos and I want to thank you um, because within two weeks of serving me with divorce papers, he was posting all over Facebook about being madly in love with somebody else, which was amazing. (laughs) And uh, she's quite amazing too, because she would post all over the same things um, and make sure everyone was tagged in them. But yeah, so about a month into that, we started to talk because we had an incident with one of our children and we started to kind of, you know, get back together, which is my mistake, but that's okay. Uh, it literally lasted for two months. Um, it just ended this past week. Um, and he's bringing our, our 17 year old daughter into it. Uh, you know, she, we have life 360. I don't know if you know what that is. Yeah. Yeah. So we all had life 360. And on Thursday, he just basically said, I don't believe your lie. So this whole time he's like, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to build trust back with you. Well, things were really bad before we got divorced in January. And I had, um, like we were fighting every day. He got in my daughter's face. He would wake up the kids at one, two, three o'clock in the morning because he'd be yelling at me at least once a week. And I wasn't really feeling very safe. He's never touched me or anything like that, but freaked me out. So I went and started looking for a house and I rented a house and I didn't tell him. I waited because I didn't, this is 30 years of my life. I was 16 years old when I met him. Yeah. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to figure out, do I really want to do this? So I didn't tell him for about two weeks that I was moving out. And I never shared that I really rented the house several weeks before he knew. And when we started to get back together, I started sharing all this with him. And so then he said, well, I don't trust you. You've been lying to me this entire time. I don't know if I can ever trust you again. You know, we'll try to work it out. But, you know, we got to rebuild the trust. So for about two months, I've heard how he doesn't trust me and he can never rebuild that trust. So this Thursday, he finally said, that's it. I just can't trust you. There's nothing I there's nothing you can do. Um, I'm done with you. Mm. And, th- and then, <clears throat> you know, and in between all this, he's been, he's told me and the kids, he broke up with his girlfriend. And I was, I was going to ask where is the other woman at? I was going to ask the one who, well, uh, <laughs> where well, she yeah, been through the last two months. Okay. Well, that's the best part. <clears throat> they, it, it went like radio silent about a month ago and our, it was our daughter's birthday. And then she was having surgery, went radio silent. And now all of a sudden, literally last Monday, um, she posted a picture of them on Facebook. Apparently I don't, I actually got rid of all social media cause it was driving me insane. And, um, then she started po- like my, some of my friends who are close to me and who will yell at me when they realize I'm talking to him again, um, pe- messaged me today about, uh, something she posted on there about her true love and that how comes somebody when you're told you're not wanted in a relationship, you know, why would you keep trying to get back with them? So, I mean, very obvious things. So yeah, he's uh, made, told me that I was the abuser for 20 something years. Um, and now he's really put my daughter in the middle. He literally grounded her because <clears throat> yesterday she took me off of life 360, which was um, there. It was all of them and me. Well, he told me and was messaging me, which obviously I was crying um, on Thursday saying we were done. But he's continued to message me. Why would I take you back? How can you guarantee you won't lie to me? Can I, there's going to have to be a law contract that is upholdable in court if we get back together. Oh, hell no. Yeah. And then today he messaged me like 10 times because I just, I I didn't mean it, but I just said, okay, if that's what you want. And this, he waited until like, I don't know, two o'clock in the morning. And he's like, why, 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 why? 30 times. My daughter took me off of the life 360 because she saw that he was at the girl's work and then spent the night at the girl's house. Why did you do Why did your daughter take you off life 360? Because she didn't want me to see it. Cause she knew I would get upset. 
Wait, your daughter took. Wait, wait. So your daughter removed you from seeing where your dad, that her dad was at. Yep. Oh, so oh, okay. So your daughter. She was is... trying. She's trying to be the protector right now because yeah, she sees me fall apart. Yeah. Yikes. That's horrible. So he literally texted her and told her, um, "How dare you get in between your mom's and my relationship? You should have never taken her off Life 360. You're grounded. Uh, you're grounded for a month." <clears throat> when did she turn 18? Uh, she just turned 17. Oh, okay. So. A month ago. Well, the unfortunate part is he subjected her to things. And I'll be quick because I know you have other people. She, right before we filed for divorce, she literally came up and told me, Mom, there's things you need to know. I have seen Dad kiss other women, blah, blah, blah. She gave me a very specific thing. And I, I called him out. I, I normally wouldn't because I've been very passive the whole 29 years. And I'm like, listen, I'm not playing this game. He grounded her for telling me the truth. Uh, yeah, because why, why wouldn't he? You know what I'm saying? Then he called her a liar. Yeah. He, but, he, yeah, exactly. That's true. You, you say, why, why wouldn't he? Because now he, th th she's exposing him, so why wouldn't he? And now it, it gets to that point where I don't know, like, if she's going to, like, because you told him. I don't like. Do you think she's gonna punish you for that? Like, she's not. No, no, you? she's good. That happened. That happened months ago. Okay, okay. I was just no, curious no. because because sometimes that does happen. She's like, well, mom wouldn't told told him right when I told her. So yeah. it's kind of like you leave him leave her out in the open for yeah. that. You can There's not too much you can do to protect her in this situation if no. he's going back and forth between houses. So I would just say he's playing. Uh, he's he playing both situation. of us. He, yeah, but I feel like he's playing with you more because he because y'all have twenty nine years together and all these the kids and stuff. I feel like he's playing with you more. The other woman, he's probably telling her like my ex wife is crazy. She won't leave me alone. She bothers. She's so bothersome. She's this. She's that. You know what I mean? Lee, he told my seventeen year old the sex with this girl is horrible. With your mom, it's amazing. I'm oh, like, oh my god, god, why would you tell god. my seventeen year old that? That's why he's keeping me around. I figured that out after he said that. I'm like, okay, well that's never gonna happen, but. I mean, and then I thought he had me convinced I was a narcissist. I had to go, like, I've been going to counseling, obviously, but she's like, I've, yeah, no. Yeah, no. See, if he's telling your daughter stuff like that, that is, he looking at, he's looking at your daughter not only as his daughter, but as his friend. So he does. Saying, you, you don't yeah. want to do that type of stuff right there because that, that can get very uniquely disgusting and weird. You see what I'm saying? It yeah. just, it just really can. It's like kind of like emotional incest. Like, like, girl, let me tell you, how, let me tell you how your mom's, I mean, your mom do it. What? Right. You know what and I mean? So it's just wrong. Yeah, that I, is, yeah. Mm. She, she, my daughter today, I, she had a ner little nervous breakdown here. She said, I want to emancipate myself from him. Can I do a no contact? Like, what can we do? He's so, you know, he, anytime I tell him the truth or don't, li you know, like I didn't lie about the girl he kissed when you guys were totally together and married and he's, and he grounded me. And now I removed you from Life 360 because he's lying to you as usual. And I'm grounded because he says, "I'm." When did I become the parent? And when did I? It, it does. It, it does seem like she's the parent though, because she's protecting. Yes. You, you know what I'm saying? Because she, she she's did. protecting you. That so now, I feel like you have to kind of. I don't know what you can do to protect her, but other than stop talking to him unnecessarily, I just feel like yeah. now she feels like that's it. Or, you know, because it seems like she doesn't want you to be with him because she. No. Gets, <clears throat> you know, I know that's her dad, but it just seems to me that she understands the toxicity and the lying and manipulation that he's been doing. So she doesn't want you to, she's trying to protect you. So now I feel like now you have to protect her. But I just feel like you talking to him is, I, I know you got 29 years, it's almost three decades, but is I feel like it's dragging your daughter now and it's causing her a lot of emotional turmoil. You it, know? Is, it is. And then he just blows up my phone. Like even he'll ask me one question, I'll respond. And now like okay. literally 30 seconds ago, I just got a message of, Everyone knows all our business. You talk about me I'm all not, the time. So I'm not. I'm not even responding to that. So I just feel like it, it, there's no there's no point in re responding no. to that. There, there, okay. there really isn't. If he's gonna keep blowing no. you up and talking to you, because he's trying to he, he a love contract. That's weird. That's weirdo shit. You know what I'm yeah, Well, it's not even. A, it's because he feels that because I talked to my friends about our relationship because I didn't know what to do. Yeah. He feels betrayed. Yes. That I completely betrayed him. No one should know anything, and I've done it our entire relationship, and I'm I'm he's, horrible person. Yeah, you're shaming him. He 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 feels that shame right there. You see what right. I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. So in that space, he he feels a lot of shame just dealing with it right there. You know, that's what I'm just saying. Like you have to protect your protect your daughter more than anything. Yep. Protect your other kids too. Because I'm not saying if it's not her, it's gonna be one of the other ones. You that's see what true. I'm saying?
So I just like the unnecessary communication is just the back, the back and forth between y'all is doing more harm than good. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I know it's hard for you to let go of this situation because 30 years, who who wouldn't it be hard for? You know? Yeah. But it's just like your, your daughter, she's like, yeah, mom, dad, this, this, this is why she's telling you this stuff. Oh, you all of them. Saying? All of them don't want us back together. They're like, yeah. you guys you guys are great. Like, mom, you're a good person. You don't deserve this, but stop. Stop talking to them. Stop contact. Like, stop. Yeah. So, so if they're saying that, I'm saying, so if they're saying that, so it's stop kind it. of falls onto you now to just make the decision to to protect your children anytime he texts you just like ask yourself is it, if, it, if it's worth responding to because a lot of times it's not like if it's not important right. that, that, that shit he just texts you for minutes that's not important everybody knows no. how this is because of you you're doing so much harm no no no, no. Mm. it's not exact and it's that and it's just trying i i know it is he's just trying to hook me back in and make me feel like he loves me and give me hope and then then i tell him everything you know what i mean I, i'll tell you what happens sometimes in this situation because i you know, i've talked to thousands of people the last few years sometimes the kids get tired of you going back and forth and they stop talking to both of y'all you see what i'm saying they don't just tell, yep. they don't just cut him off they stop talking to you too and then he leaves you and then you by yourself so it's just like is that worth it the possibility that they happen is worth it right there no you know, it's not I've seen it happen before. I promise you. Oh, I believe it. I, I can see it. Ha like I could see that happening. So I mm -hmm. really appreciate all the feedback we. There's no problem. Just be, just be safe. Take care of yourself. You know, I'm okay. praying for you. I'm rooting Thank for you. you. You know what I mean? Thank it's, you. I'm, yeah, I'm, I promise you, I'm rooting for you. Okay. Thanks. Be safe. Happy rest of your night. Bye. You too.